Hi, welcome to day of exploring Queensland and taking you with me. Today, we'll be exploring. I have a feeling it's gonna be a good one. Okay, welcome to a little tour of the van that we have chosen to take with us for this trip. So it is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. We rented it off Camplify, which is kind of like the Airbnb for caravans and vans and that kind of thing. And honestly, we had the most amazing experience with Camplify and this video is not sponsored or anything. I just find it interesting to see kind of van tours or I just think it would be interesting to watch. So it's raining, let's get inside and I'll show you around. So here we are in the driving section of the van. This is a seriously comfortable section and this van actually has really, really, really good suspension. So it's very comfortable to drive. It's automatic, so it's very easy to drive. But basically we just have a whole lot of our kind of notes, uh, little lollies, glasses, like everything you normally would on the dashboard. Then water bottles and snacks on the sides and the doors. Um, we have this wonderful little handy uh, iPhone holder for maps and general other purposes which also charges the phone which is very convenient. Overall a common theme in this van is convenient and basically everything you ever need. So now we're in the main kind of cabin of the van so to give you context where the, behind the camera there is the driving stuff. So this is basically where we spend 90% of our time in the van besides when we're driving. So we have a lot of cupboards and they're all like clicked shut so when you're driving thing they don't open and things fall out everywhere. So in this cupboard, oh and preface, everything in these cupboards we don't have a whole lot of time to film this video so we're squeezing it quickly into now. Um, we haven't tidied anything or made anything look good so this is a pretty accurate representation of kind of what we're working with and yeah, I don't really care. So, in this top section here, just to quickly run you through it, we have basically all the books that we've taken, some miscellaneous stuff for Louis, and then some general, I don't know, head torches. Like, it's kind of a miscellaneous cupboard here. Then in this cupboard, this is Louis' coffee filter that he uses in the morning. It's just hanging up to dry. Well, in here, we have pans, extra big bowls, um, some trays, a little kettle, the van's information guide, um, that's all. So this here is our gas stove which we use every day. I use it every day to make toast and then we heat kind of stuff up on it and Louis makes coffee on here in the morning. Then we have a nice little oven below in here which again we pretty much use every day. Then sink. Um, you guys know how to use a sink, that's what, yeah. <laughs> okay, so then coming down to the bottom section of the middle, we have the fridge here, which I've shown you what's in the fridge, so check out a previous vlog for that, I'll link that below. Then underneath the oven here, we have kind of our miscellaneous cooking stuff, like our foil glad wrap, salt, pepper, oil, Louis coffee, um, Panadol, toilet paper, paper towels, that kind of drawer. Then over here we have laundry, washing up stuff, some towels um, and everything. Then utensils, plates, bowls, cups, glasses. And then finally cutting board, more pots, um, some other miscellaneous, less used cooking utensils in that. Then, to take you back up to here, this cupboard is our kind of bathroom, I suppose. We have all our toiletry stuff in here. We have jumpers and waterproof jackets and towels and kind of other miscellaneous things as well. Then down the bottom here we have dirty clothes, other laundry things we could need, spare water bottles, um, some spare bags and 
overall that's kind of like a storage unit. Then we have this table which moves around as we need it. We can also take the table off and when we're traveling we store it in the bottom of this cupboard. So all of these cushions here lift up and there's storage underneath, which is great. So if I take this one off, we have a bin, fire extinguisher, vacuum in there. And then this drawer we have not opened and we're not going to open. It's the like emergency toilet in there. And if you use it, you have to clean it out yourself. So we're not game and it's, we're just, we're not using it, basically. It's not happening. Okay, then these are kind of our food storage, basically, all our food that is not in the fridge or freezer. So we have, again, if you've seen our food tour, you'll know what's in here, but oh, I have some random art stuff on here. So we have all our like dry um, cereal stuff and soups and that kind of stuff in this one. And then, a box of technology stuff, so that's just like hard drives, spare camera equipment, um, iPad, chargers, adapters, everything safely secured in there. And then underneath that we have our snack box, which is running very low, unfortunately. So this is obviously the bed, which is extremely spacious, so comfortable. Louie and I have not had a bad sleep on this bed at all. It's been like we've just been both knocked out every time it's so good love this bed so bed then we've just stored all our clothes minus um some waterproof jackets and jumpers that were in that cupboard so in here we have my clothes don't mind the mess but it was sorted into like bottoms tops and then bras undies and socks and then this cupboard is um mixed between half Louis, half mine, and then this is Louis's cupboard with his socks and shirts and jeans and stuff in there. So up here we have a few things that are really helpful for when we're living in the van. So first of all, this is the power that the van has itself. So it runs off solar and also has inbuilt batteries. So this means that we have, we still have power, which is great. And then if when we want to turn it off, we just press off. Um, this is letting us know how much water we have in the van. So we have a full tank, a full tank, and then three quarters of a tank because we have just filled up. And this is the temperature of the hot water in the sink, which we use when we're, you know, washing up. This finally is our solar. And finally, the back of the van. So, open up both doors. bed. So much storage underneath here. It's actually way more than you think. Um, so under here we just have big drone case, camera bags, extra random stuff. Um, the van came with some camping chairs and tables and everything which is just stored underneath there as well. We have a shower if we need it, which we haven't um, needed to use yet. Then under all of this side is the main switches for power and everything if we need to cut it out. Other than that though, there's just some yoga mats and other stuff in there. But that's basically the end of this van tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Overall, Louie and I are absolutely loving this van. We have no complaints about it. It's incredibly smooth to drive. It's incredibly practical. And if I ever am going to hire another van, I hope that I can get my hands on this one again. And if I can buy a van in the future, ever, I want to model it as closely as I can off this one because they, they've just done, the van owner has just done an incredible job and it's making this trip for Louie and I really comfortable, really convenient and overall really, really enjoyable. Good morning, we are just exiting Charters Towers City. We have really stayed here for such a short amount of time and haven't gotten to see too much unfortunately. 
However, um, this morning I just woke up, did some yoga, had breakfast. We're currently en route to Andara National Volcanic National Park, which is four hours and three minutes away according to maps. We downloaded a trivia app yesterday and it just sucked. So we're gonna try this one today. Um, yesterday was the first time we used like a game or something on the road, which made me feel so much more awake. So I definitely wanna do that again because I just get sleepy. So we are currently walking through Andara Volcanic National Park. We arrived here a few hours ago, conducted an interview which went pretty well. And then we spent the rest of the late afternoon um, planning the next few days because it's honestly filled with lots of uncertainty. We're just trying to organize things and um, contact people. Yeah, the logistics behind this documentary. Ooh, hey there. But we're walking up a track at the park to see sunset. Then we're just gonna have a chill night, make dinner, um, and get ready for what will be another day of driving. Um, at least one interview. And then we will arrive in Cairns, which will be very different and our first like massive city on this adventure. For a 15 minute hike, not a bad view. 